This is the HMDS oven. It is used, used to deposit HMDS on your wafer. What it can do is improve the adhesion of the wafer to the photoresist. So the system uh, can be found in three states. It can be found in the off state, which is the power down state, or it could be found when it's turned on. Or the system could be offline and not usable. So the offline would either be that's down for maintenance, repair, or there's some other issue. So how do you find out if the system is offline? First of all, you should talk to staff, check the blog, or check your email, or there might be a sign on here saying do not use. Also, you can check the logbook. So the logbook is found next to the system. And the logbook is used, you should always be uh, writing down your process after using it. So you can see that Jeffrey was the last user and he didn't write anything. So that means uh, it should be okay to use. So before we use a system, even if it's in the on state or the off state, we need to do three things. We need to make sure the HMDS level is right, the pressure gauges are right, and also the pump that is used to turn on for the vacuum the system is on. So let's look at the HMDS level. So this is the line here that, that needs to refill line. So we can see that the HMDS level is actually lower than it should be. So what we need to do is we need to go talk to staff and then we'll refill the system. And then once we refill the system, we'll go to the chases room and then uh, make sure the pump is on. Also, we should look at the pressure gauges that are located here. And we can see that they're in the, between the ranges that we need to operate in. So now what we're gonna do is go tell staff to refill the HMDS, and then we're gonna be checking the pump in the chases room. So this is the chases room for the, where the vacuum is located for the HMDS oven. So the pump is in here and it creates the vacuum for the HMDS oven. The room is 2336, so it's right next door to it. So before you go in, you just wanna make sure there's no like odors or any spills. And if, if you do see something unusual, like such as that, then you would contact staff. So there's nothing, I don't see anything here, so I would go in. This is the pump that's used to create the vacuum for the HMDS oven. We can tell that it's off because there's no vibration and also the power button is off. So before running the pump, uh, we should look at the oil level to make sure that it's in uh, a safe region. We don't want it too low. So make sure there's oil in there and it's not too low. And also if it's, it's clean. The next thing we want to do is turn the pump on. So there's a switch that's located over here and then we press it to turn it on. So when the pump is on, you can hear the vibration and it's turned on. So that's what we do. And now we can go back to the HMDS and start running the system. So after we've turned the pump on, we come back to the oven and now we're going to turn the oven on. So on the oven, on the back, there's a switch. Uh, it's located right here and you just flip it on. And you can see the oven is turned on. So now you can see the temperature is at uh, about zero to one degree. So we're going to, I mean, that's not actually accurate right now, but we're going to let the temperature rise up and we're just going to wait, come back maybe in uh, 30 minutes to start the machine. Now that the pump is turned on, the temperature has risen to the right temperature, we can start our process. There's actually two processes. Process one, which is sequence one, which is used for depositing HMDS on your wafer. And process two, which is a dehydration uh, bake. So how do we change our processes? We come over here and uh, we hit the step function. So step one, step up will change it. And then step down will change it back. So we want to put it on sequence one, which is the HMDS process. So we're on sequence one. The next step to do is to load our wafer in the oven. So you would load uh, your wafer into one of these, the cassette. If you want to take the cassette out, it's good to use something to protect your hands because it might be very hot and you can, you can take it out and then load all your wafers in. But anyway, once it's inside the machine, next thing to do is just press the start button and then the machine is turned on. So this process takes about 30 minutes. When the process is done, you just take your wafer out and then you hit the reset button to turn the alarm off. So after about 30 minutes, uh, the process will be done. And this is when you want to take your sample out. So if you see a flashing light here, that means um, you, you sample, your process is done. But sometimes the light won't flash because someone might have reset the button for you already. But if, you, if it hasn't been reset and it's flashing, so you have to press this button right here 
called a reset. So you press this button and this light will turn off. But, it, but since we're done now and when there's no splashing button, we can take our sample out. So just remember, after the process, this is going to be very hot. So you want to protect your hands when you take the sample out. So you can get like a glove or some type of uh, holder system. And you can hold it out. And then you get your sample out. And remember to put the sample back, the, the holder back, so that other users can use it. And that's how you leave the system back in its standby position. And this is the HMDS of it.